Has there been a time that my team and I have helped somebody through the messy middle? You know, I like to say that everything is seamless and we want that plan and we want everything to be planned out for you. But let me tell you about my family, the Rybers. I listed a home in a very desirable neighborhood in Highland Lakes in Westerville. Their current home was in another country club area in Westerville called Medallion. They were referred to me by a friend. I was already on the market. I had over 27 showings and within 36 hours, I had to be at their current home. I had to have a photographer there. We had to clean it well into the night and I had to rush a home to market to ensure that that family could present on my listing knowing that they were listed. We don't love to do it that way, but if opportunity arises and we haven't gotten ahead of it, we will make it work. It may not be perfect. It's gonna be messy. You're gonna be the messy middle. And they were. We achieved that. I was able from strength of negotiating to say, we are listed. We have four showings this weekend. We made their offer the strongest we could. We dropped all the contingencies. I know people aren't a fan of that, but it's what it took. We went well over list. We competed with 22 offers and yet we won that negotiation even with a home sale contingency. I had their home and medallion in contract in 24 hours. We lined up the time frames, and nobody was homeless. And my sellers that I was helping sell in Highland Lakes moved on to Indianapolis. Indianapolis. How do I define a messy middle seller and buyer? That's exactly what it is. It's a seller who is also a buyer. They're sandwiched in the middle of two different people and their desire to move up, move down, or right size. So we have to position them to work in both markets at all times. So what if, as a seller, you're driving around and you find the perfect home tomorrow, and I've never stepped foot in the home that you have to sell? Now we're presenting a contract on the fact that you might get your act together one day and list your home. Not the best contingency. The next best contingency is, I've already planned with you for that. We've met, we've staged, we've photographed, we've taken a video, we've talked about what listing might look like and we're ready to flip the switch in 24 to 48 hours, but we just tuck it back in and you go on living your life. That way, when we find that home, I can say, this contract is contingent on 123 Main Street, which will be listed in the MLS no later than 24 hours of acceptance of this offer because we're ready. The very best contingency is we've done all that, we've listed, you're in contract, and my offer to your seller states this. This offer is contingent upon the sale of 123 Main Street, which is in contract through inspections and remedies and ready to close on or before September 15th. Three different contingencies, good, better, best. We will work with whatever scenario we're in, but it's more about prepping you for the scenario, not the home. What is the second best contingency if I'm a seller who is also a buyer? The second best place to be in is I've been in your home. We've prepared your home. We've staged your home. We've talked about what it looks like and you've went back to living. And then we find a home and I am ready to flip that switch, put you on the MLS and have all those beautiful photos that I took four months ago when the grass was green and it's now March and we're ready to go. That is the middle best contingency. That is part of being the messy middle seller and buyer and that's what we specialize in.